I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss increasing and decreasing interval for rational function. So in my set of videos I have taken up rational functions which are continuous and this one is not continuous right. So rational function may or may not be continuous right. So let's analyze this particular rational function. We are given uh, y equals to 2x minus 3 divided by x square. Denominator cannot be 0, so there is a discontinuity. We do have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 0, right? So that means the domain of the function is, is let me write down here, x belongs to real numbers, where x is not equal to 0, right? So that's the domain of the function. So when you analyze increasing and decreasing interval, you have to consider this point of discontinuity also. Apart from this point of discontinuity, you need to find the critical points, right? So critical points are the points where the derivative of the function, let me say y dash, will be equal to 0 or it does not exist, right? Or it does not exist. So these are the critical points which we need to consider. So let us find the derivative of this function. So we have y equals to this. So y prime will be, will apply the quotient rule right so we can apply the quotient rule and find derivative uh, which is x square square which is x to the power of 4 derivative of numerator which is 2 right so in this case 2 and times x square so we write 2x square minus 2x times derivative of the function so derivative is 2x times 2x minus 3 so that becomes the derivative of this function right so let's simplify this uh, further and then we'll analyze. So we have 2x square minus 4x square plus 6x over x to the power of 4 and that is uh, minus 2x square plus 6x to the power of x to the power of 4, right? And that is the derivative. To find critical point, I have to equate this to 0. Right, so if I write this as 0, let me factor this also. We can factor out 2x here. So if I factor out 2x, I get x minus 3 within the brackets, and we have x to the power of 4, right? So we'll analyze this derivative on the right side of the page. So derivative for us is y prime equals to minus 2x times x minus 3 over x to the power of 4 and we want to equate it to 0 to find the critical numbers. Now this will be 0 at two points. One is x equals to 0 and the other one will be x equals to 3. So these are the two points where the numerator could be 0 but x equals to 0 is not in the domain so, so that is not possible. But anyway that is definitely a critical point for us because the critical point is also a point where the function's derivative does not exist. Well, in this case, this is a vertical asymptote. So we will not consider this point in the domain of the function as such as we discussed earlier. So you should not neglect this point. Okay. So what we have here is, uh, let me draw the number line. So on the number line, we'll think about two points. One, where we have a vertical asymptote, right? So vertical asymptote is at zero, right? So we'll say this, I'm making kind of a hole since that point is not in the domain of the function, right? So this is the hole. Uh, it is a vertical asymptote, which is not in the domain of the function. It is at zero, right? So that is the point. Then we have a critical number, which is at x equals to three, right? So these, this discontinuity and the critical number divide our plane into one, two, three regions. In these regions, we could take test points to find whether the derivative is positive or negative, right? So test point on this side could be minus one. Here it could be one and beyond three, let's take four. So these are the test points. So I'm writing test points here. And what are we testing? We are testing derivative, that means y prime, right? Whether it is positive or not. So the equation for y prime is minus 2x times x minus 3 divided by x to the power of 4. 
Now if I write minus 1 here, so let me write, let me write derivative when x equals to minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 here, then I know denominator will be positive, correct? And the numerator, if I write minus 1, this becomes negative. This part becomes negative times negative, which is positive. Let me write down. So minus 2 times minus 1. Here we have minus 1 minus 3 and the denominator is minus 1 to the power of 4. Clearly you can see when you multiply minus and minus this is positive and here we are getting a negative number so we get something which is less than 0. So in this region it is less than 0 or the derivative here is less than 0 means that the function is decreasing, correct? Negative slope, the function is decreasing in this interval. Now if I write 1 here, so the derivative at x equals to 1 will be what? We have a negative 2 here, so negative 2 and 1 minus 3 over 1 to the power of 4. Now negative and this is negative will make it positive. So we get some value which is greater than 0. We are not interested in value, we are just checking whether it is negative or positive. You can substitute this value in your calculator and then calculate, right? And now let us test for 4. So derivative when x equals to 4 will be minus 2 times 4 which is negative and 4 minus 3 this is also negative. This is positive and positive times negative will give you negative and 4 to the power of 4 will always be positive so that gives you a negative value. So in this interval the function is decreasing. So we can get increasing and decreasing intervals right from there correct so now let me write down the answer right so it is the function is increasing we'll write increasing this is about the function right f of x the function is increasing between the interval 0 to 3 right so between 0 to 3 and it is decreasing within the interval minus infinity to 0, right, minus infinity to 0, at 0 we have a discontinuity and from 3 to plus infinity, that is how it is. You also learn from here that this point here is a local, local minimum, right, this is minimum and this point here is a local maximum. Now when you actually work out for this function, you may find that this function may have uh, absolute maximum, right? Who knows? So you can figure this out. So as an exercise, here is a question for you. The question for you is sketch graph of given function. Now to sketch graph of this function, you may have to find the value for local maximum minimum also, right? So sketch the graph from the knowledge which we have. That should really help you to sketch a good graph. Thank you and all the best.